Hey there, I'm Phil Collin of Def Leppard and Delta Deep. Um, here are my five tour tips. Um, one of the things, don't play too loud. If you're in a band, you can really kind of upset each other and push each other's buttons um, when you play too loud, and plus you can't hear yourself. Uh, one thing we do, we, we keep the volume really low, you know, in Delta Deep, and like we're able to rehearse like, like this. So you can actually rehearse in a front room or something without having the neighbours banging on the, on the walls or anything. And then you can actually sing kind of lightly, like, you know, we, we have a song called Bless These Blues. It goes... I bless my soul, That's, You can rehearse like that. You don't need to thrash your ears or go deaf. My ears are actually still okay after all these years. So that, that's something I would suggest for, for sure. You've probably asked the wrong person tips. I don't drink alcohol, so it's been 30 years. Um, that has been totally valuable, actually. I remember everywhere we've gone, I've, I'm more focused. You know, I'm 60, I, don't, I feel like I'm 25. Um, you know, I work out and that's, that's separate. But I do think it's, it's important to, to be healthy. Like we, these stairs, we're, we're, we're on the fifth floor. It's good to walk up and down the old Bruce Lee thing. <laughs> Don't take the elevator, take the stairs if you can. Just stuff like that, you know, stay active, healthy, eat right and sleep. I know people don't sleep enough because they're too busy getting messed up or whatever, but um, lots of water. I mean, everyone knows this stuff, you know, it's not even not even tips, but it's something you're supposed to do. Um, one of the other things, I'm a vegan, you know, I've, I've been a, a strict vegetarian for like 35 years. Here's one of the things we have on the rider, and usually I'll do that, I'll chop up a veggie burger, I have a dual Torman grill, this is just me personally. We have that everywhere as well, you know, a bit of a, that salsa and stuff like that. And yeah, just, just kind of avoid all that kind of heavy carb thing later on. Yeah, I mean, it makes a huge difference. It, it just makes you feel um, sprightly and, and you're more energy and stuff like that. Um, when we first started blowing up, when MTV started happening and, uh, you know, we were all over the place, uh, our then manager, Peter Mensch, said, it's the limos, dudes. And we're like, well, what the fuck? this is cool, man. We're, we're, we're rock stars, we're in the limo. And he said, let me break it down. It's a two hour minimum. It's, back then, I don't know how much it was per hour, but there's two, you need two limos and it's costing this much per day because they've got to take you from the hotel to the venue and take you back. That's this, and he added it up and we were like, it was thousands of dollars. So. Stuff like that can just fly out the window and everyone will absolutely encourage you to spend money and you don't know you're doing it. So things like that, you know, um, it, tour buses. On, on this tour, you know, we, we have day rooms um, and we're all traveling in, in one bus and we actually spend a lot of time in there. The, the environment on the bus is amazing. Every, everyone sleeps, it's not like party city or anything like that, you know, and it's no, no smoking or anything like that. Back in the day, you know, people would be drinking and smoking and it's just a really unhealthy environment and affects you going on it actually stops you being able to function properly if you're really into the music and you want to present yourself in a really good way you got to remember all this stuff because uh, it's not fun part yeah it is as well but you know that, that's that's what will stop a, a band from being a great band because they're full of pieces and it'll just just go you know slippery slope so um, very important, the health thing, and, and just, just maintaining that kind of great uh, frame of mind and reference and stuff.